Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology 10 Minute Esoteric Readings. I appreciate y'all all coming in. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're getting those up. I appreciate each and every one of you doing that. And let's get started. Right? This is Wednesday. We get attachments in the past that are still, um, that we may need to take a look at. We get the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, uh, family issues, and then we get Angel of Strength. And Angel of Strength is upright. All three of these cards are upright. So having the ability to look at uh, the family unit and what are your strengths within the family unit. Uh, where we're going forward with this new energy that we talked about on Monday and some on Tuesday we need to talk about that once you have these divine energies or supernatural abilities, uh, what are gifts, talents, whatever you want to call them, it's going to be uh, anything from psychokinetics, telekinetics, uh, telepathy, um, cloaking, uh, levitating, and y'all can, whatever super movie, super power movie you've seen from Marvel to DC. Uh, just imagine some of those, and some of y'all are going to start uh, seeing those, but if your mind's. Um, constricted or limited uh, because you're not willing to take responsibility for those thoughts, actions, and emotions, then um, you're going to see this as some sort of curse or, or ask why is this happening to you as opposed to opening up and going, oh, this is just the integration of this new energy coming into me from the divine or the upgraded 2.0 God consciousness 2.0 or whatever. So we got to make sure that we have the strengths. Um, and the contacts and community, the family that we talked about, Second Chakra's family, community, is then being able to uh, reach out to these people who understand this and being very cautious about who we talk to about these abilities uh, because there are government agencies and different agencies around the world who want those abilities to keep their status quo maintained. Um, so yes, it's fascinating to have some of these and use these, for personal gain, and, and per, some personal gain's fine, um, but we need to make sure that we're not only helping ourselves, we need to help others with what we're helping ourselves with, right? So if I need to go help someone on the other side of town, but my old jalopy car is not going to get me there, or it may break down, then I can go ahead and uh, manifest a new car, a fast car, and then I'm able to then get across town faster to help that friend. That makes sense? So we can help ourselves, guys. We can be selfless in a selfish way sort of way uh, with these new superpowers but with these new superpowers we need to make sure that you don't go on YouTube sprint them right I don't display any of mine one because anyone can say oh that was just fate um, but those over the over the decades who have been around me understand what it is I can do or not do all right and those always change one day they may be there the next day they may not uh, but let's just see what's happening all right we get the King of Swords again. Yesterday we had all the court cards come out pretty high, so today we're getting the same thing. Yesterday we had the King of Swords upright, but today we get it uh, in the reverse. And then we get the uh, King of Pentacles uh, upright. So again, start thinking that if you had these super abilities, these God-given talents, or your internal talents, however you need to reframe that, is what are you going to do with it? Because you can make money with it. Right? You can be a magician, illusionist, right? but you're really doing true scientific magic behind the scenes. Or you can help people because you can 3D see into someone's body like an x-ray and know what's gone. And then go ahead and put your hands on that. And through the frequencies of fire, water, earth, and air, and ether. Or positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And then be able with the energy of your fingers. And if I can amplify it and some of y'all can see that, you may see a glow come off my hand. Um, you know, I don't want it to display too much stuff because... Uh, certain people who watch these videos and AIs that stream them. Back uh, but what I'm saying is that you're going to, going to be able to start making money off of your talents and abilities. We can shroud them in one sense and, and say, hey, you know, I, I just got lucky or whatever. Uh, or you may have photographic or um, eidetic memory come on and you remember everything or understand everything. Um, how are you going to play your life out with this new power? Imagine kind of having a certain power, and whichever one comes up to you, um, how can you make a living with this new power? All right, guys, think about that. Then we get the Ten of Swords. Uh, our old way is done, because this is sort of all the past over here for me. And then we get the Ten of Swords. Old thinking, old mentality, all old cognitive 
belief systems are gone, guys. The 2.0 changes everything the way you even live, sense, breathe, everything is no longer going to be the same. We get the hermit upside down. Um, so in one sense, the old wisdom is not going to help us, but the work you've been doing lately is going to help you. The work we've been doing since 180 videos ago, whatever, is going to help you stabilize this uncertainty of the new frequencies that are coming in. That makes sense? Um, and then we get another night card. There's the night that I saw earlier in the deck. So the Knight of Pentacles comes in. The Knight of Pentacle comes in, so there's going to be swift movement um, with this money or this financial opportunity, and we need to make sure that you're comfortable in not selling yourself out just for a quick buck, because maybe you didn't have a lot. Now you have this ability, and everyone wants your ability, and they're willing to pay for it, but we need to make sure that we stay strong and grounded and not let your fame, if you will, outpace your morality. All right, your in internal compass. Then we get the Ace of Swords, we get the Strength card, and then we get the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune card is upside down, uh, but the Strength card and the Ace of Swords is upright. So we are going to come up with a new way of thinking. Again, the Ace of Swords is, in, is starting over. Right? And we're starting over with our careers, if you will, this new psychical career, right? Psychic, psychical career is that we need to make sure that we're strong. We just talked about it, so I'm not going to repeat it. And we have two strength cards again. This happened to us last week. We get the two strength cards. Not only the oracles or from the divines, we also get them in our own personal reading. So it's ready to release and unleash our abilities. And again, you can say, well, well Charles, um, why should we hide behind it? Why don't we just come out? Again, know that there's other parties out there that will... Um, manipulate your abilities and if that's okay with you that's okay with you I'm not here to say one way or the other right uh, I don't look at things as good or bad I just look at where do you feel and people I deal with uh, are more about helping community not um, helping another war or helping more people starve right and again if that's what you're here to do is help other people starve or create more wars or profit for uh, privateers Awesome. Whatever that is for you, I'm not saying either way is right or wrong. Is allopathic medicine better or worse than holistic? Um, I don't know, right? Make up your own choice. But the will of fortune is faint destinies, and it's in the reverse. So for me, there really is no uh, faded destiny other than frequencies and, and patterns that come around that go around. And eventually, what you release one pattern with will come around to you in another way to be upgraded or to be released. Right, so we're having to release all of our old stuff, right? We need to commu uh, connect with community and other people like-minded who are going to be opening up to these new abilities. So we definitely see a lot of uh, mental, um, not mental hermitude, right? A hermit. Um, we need to come out and really start putting into motion, right? What do we want to do with this new ability, right? And you're beginning to feel what these are, right? Tap into and and... Uh, meditate like we had yesterday is meditate with that card and then go okay what are this what is this new ability show me these new abilities or show me something about what I need to get used to all right guys that's all I got for you today appreciate you peace love all that good stuff like subscribe and then I'll see you tomorrow Thursday Thanks.